This is the Sure Dragon Light. Effectively what it is, is a better version of a traditional tube light. And when I first had this sent out to me, I honestly had no idea what I was gonna use it for. So it took me a little while to actually take it out of the box and kind of play with it. But once I did, I found that this is absolutely my secret weapon for product photography and product video. Now, the first way that I'm using this light for product photo and product video is I'm using it as a fill light. In situations where I have sort of a big soft box going over the top of something on a table and I'm still getting a little bit of shadow that I wanna take out, this bendable light allows me to put it in the position that I want where those shadows are sitting, bend it around the, the product or whatever the object that I'm trying to light and just fill those shadows. Now, normally that would take sort of multiple lights and then when you use multiple lights, sometimes you get the effect of you actually get additional shadows. So you have two different lights and you've got an extra shadow going one way, an extra shadow going another way. But this, you can just find the shadow that you wanna take away and you can just bend the light in the position and sort of mount it over just to take out those shadows. In addition to that, uh, the kit that I was sent actually comes with a mounting bracket, which allows me to put it on a traditional light stand. So I can lock this thing in and I can set up position in any sort of situation I want. The bracket that I've got is actually a double bracket so I can actually mount the two lights together so I can use it as a double light setup if I want. The next way I'm using this light for product photo and product video is as an edge light or a rim light or a wraparound light. And I'll have situations where I've got a product and I've got a nice lighting setup, but I just wanna do a nice little outline around the outside of the product. Now, this might be a white outline that just looks quite natural, or it might be a colored outline using the HSI or RGB mode in the lighting system. And my last, I think three or four thumbnails uh, that I've done of products, so basically every, every product thumbnail or every uh, video I've done that had a product in the thumbnail since I uh, took these out of the box, I've been using these. And generally I've been using them for either that wraparound or I've been using them as a backlight. Because if you actually look, it's got a milk diffusion panel on it, on the actual front of the light. But the LEDs themselves do kind of show through a little bit, particularly in the color mode when you've got it turned down all the way. And that gives you this kind of almost futuristic Blade Runner looking effect. And I've had a few products which I've actually put in the shot and then you can actually see the individual LEDs actually through the product themselves, which gives you a super, super, super cool look. So. With the RGB mode, those are the couple ways I'm doing it. One, a wraparound light, and the other sort of a light behind shooting through the object as kind of like a backdrop. Now in all the situations that I have been using the light so far, I've been using it strictly curved inwards, but you can actually use it just as a traditional straight light. So now it acts just like a traditional tube light, or you can bend it out in a situation where you kind of want to spray the light everywhere. You want to get more coverage. The other thing that you can do, and I've done this with a few of my videos, is you can actually connect the lights together and make a longer light. So here I just push this together, and now I have a, a much longer wraparound light. That will allow me to do a larger lap wraparound light. And you can see the last time I actually used this light, I was using it sort of as a orange and teal or teal and orange effect. So I've got the teal on one side and I got the orange on the other side. And that is gonna give me a sort of a wraparound image with a teal and orange outline with a sort of a teal on one side and an orange on the other. And there's no limit to how many of these you can connect. And I think that's why it's the dragon light because it can be like one of those Chinese dragons in the, in the festivals that you see where it just keeps going and going and going. Now this is gonna give you the full spectrum of RGB and it's got a TCLI of 98 and a CRI of 97. So it is quite an accurate light when it comes to that white range. And it also has the full RGB spectrum. I'm tending to use it in the white range just for sort of those product fill lights. You could actually use it as a key light or a main light as well if you want something a little bit more dramatic. And then I'm using it in the RGB mode for that sort of outline effect. It can also be controlled from the back of the actual unit itself. There is um, just a little system there where you can sort of change the different menus. You got uh, HSI mode, you got RGB mode, You've got the CRT, which is your white mode, and you've got an, eff an effects mode. In addition to that, you can also control this via app control. So you can have a whole bunch of these set up, 
and you can just control them by an app, put different effects or different colors. So you could set an entire scene and just sit there with your app and tune all the different colors in or different white balances to what you want. Now I'm running it off a Sony NPF battery. You can get these pretty cheaply. I will link below some cheap ones that I found to power this kit. But if you want to use wall power, it does actually come with the power brick or power adapter as well. And what's really nice about it isn't a huge power adapter. Some of these lights are sort of smaller portable lights and they come with a huge power adapter. This comes with a reasonably sized power adapter. The kit that I was sent actually had two lights in it and it came with a bracket so that I can either mount one or two lights together. And this actually has an attachment point so you can just put it on a traditional light stand. So you can just use it with any of your traditional light stand setups. So that's the Suray Dragon Light. It is kind of absurd looking, but it's also absurdly useful if you do product photo and product video. And as I said, I pretty much use it every day now. Now I will put some links in the description down below for further details and pricing. So check down there if you're interested in the Suray Dragon Light.